today's Earth 8 report. Now, on any given day, you can find illegal fishing taking place right off of our coastline. But what many fishermen may not know is that now there are eyes watching and a bigger fine, making sure areas that should not be fished don't get ruined. We're just going to go over to, well, it kind of really depends on the conditions, but we'll try to get over to La Jolla Cove where it'll be nice okay. and kind of calm. This team has caught poachers in the act, so we join Wild Coast for a ride along on their boat to check for any illegal fishing. As we head out of Mission Bay, past Mission Beach, PB, Bird Rock, then La Jolla, we notice there are plenty of other people enjoying a day on the water, and that's what Wild Coast hopes to see. We're going to go through the South La Jolla Marine Protection Area, then head north up in there into La Jolla. They are keeping an eye on the fishermen. So far, most appear to be where they should be, outside of the Marine Protected Areas, also known as MPAs places where the marine life should be left alone. They're like underwater state parks. So if you've been to Swamis or La Jolla or Point Loma, you've been to a marine protected area. There are 11 MPAs in San Diego County and 124 across California. Since these marine protected areas are so important for the health of our oceans, one of Wild Coast's many missions is to protect them. Right there is our radar dish. Now what that does is constantly sending out signals that bounce back and forth to identify if there's something here on the water. The shorter rotating radar you see on the Scripps Pier serves as the eyes for Carlos Cayada, the California Conservation Coordinator at Wild Coast. He logs in from anywhere and observes about a three mile radius north and south of the pier. He even gets alerts if a boat appears to be poaching. And what flags the system typically is time spent in the marine protected area and the speed they're going. From Scripps Pier to La Jolla Cove, it's a no take zone. So here you would not be able to go fishing, spear fishing, dropping lobster traps, no take of any kind. But still, Carlos has seen more than 60 poachers in South La Jolla alone in just a couple years since the new radars went up. There's a second radar in San Diego near Swamis, and it was here at Swamis where Wild Coast caught this party boat, profiting off people who paid to go fishing. And they may catch a lot of fish in this MPA, but they also caught a hefty fine of $5,000. And this was the first time a party boat got busted since Wild Coast urged state leaders to increase the fines. The good majority of our fishermen are wonderful. They follow all the rules and they're out there fishing sustainably, but unfortunately there are a few bad actors. Angela Kemsley, conservation director at Wild Coast, says if a fisherman got busted, they would pay $100 to $1,000. But now what's classified as commercial passenger fishing vessels, they can be charged anywhere from five to 40 grand. Would you say it's pretty tempting for fishermen to come out here? Yes, it would be very tempting. Uh, because these are protected areas, the biodiversity, the fish, the biomass, the, the amount of fish, they're so much healthier, so much larger. Of course, it's important for fishermen to know where all the MPAs are, which is actually pretty clear here on the map. We are in this location. This would be legal to fish in, but just around the point, that's a marine protected area. I mean, there's no clear sign. Yes, there's, there's no indicators on the water. If they know, though, they often go right outside, enjoy the effects of the spillovers. We saw that firsthand just outside of the MPA. You could see quite a few fishing boats with people on board casting those lines. Fish like yellowtail, calico bass, sand bass, white sea bass, and lobsters. They are abundant here among the kelp forests and the rocky reefs, but that wasn't always the case. And it's because of people like Carlos, Angela, and our Captain Joe that these diverse habitats are thriving. I've always loved the ocean and it is my pleasure to be out there helping protect it. Yeah, it's great work they're doing, important stuff. And right now there are two radars in operation in San Diego. Because this pilot program is going so well, there's a third on the way for Wild Coast. And we do want to point out the main goal of Wild Coast is education. So they'll alert California Fish and Wildlife and lifeguards if they see any of that illegal activity. But they don't have the authority to go ahead and issue those citations. But people can get busted by lifeguards, for oh, example. Okay. So they're, they're given the heads up and they're watching. They, they will see if anyone's uh, misbehaving out there. They need to do their homework. They got to know where they're going and the boundaries and everything. Right. And it was nice to see in the video there, people were kind of respecting they were the following rules it. Yeah. yeah. Most fishermen who know the area yeah. obviously will stay right outside. That's where they still catch Absolutely. hefty fish. They're doing really well uh, because the MPAs, the idea of it, it's working. So the fish are thriving and the spillover effect is happening. All right. Well, we can all do our part. Yes. All right. Thank you for that, Netta.